This is a reel from Seamus Ennis called The Master's Return. It can be found on the 1973 recital recording of him at the Termin Feckenchenal in County Louth. I'll play it at a moderate tempo and then slowly breaking up the sections, demonstrating the technique. first part slowly. The first section. Again. The next phrase. Again. And then the next phrase. Those three phrases make up the first half of the second part. This is a single reel, so the parts, it's only A, B, A, B. So thus far, the main bits of ornamentation there are at the end of the first part, you'll notice that there's a very prominent roll on the F sharp, as well as a roll on the E. You can also play an E cran as well. Or. You'll also notice that I'm playing the E uh, as a hard bottom E which is the same as a D, but lifting your ring finger. One more time on the first part. That's the first part, as both of the phrases are basically the same. I'll play the second part now. The first phrase of the second part, uh, you can start by doing a run, uh, an A, B, D triplet, or A, B, C, D, but the phrase actually starts with, 
on the back D. Again, that phrases. The next phrase. So you'll notice there, I'm playing just a one-fingered G uh, for the purposes of staccato playing, but a normal two-fingered G is also possible. It does make it easier, though, to um, put in uh, staccato ornamentation if you're using just a one-fingered G. I'm also playing a roll on the B there. The next phrase is... Basically the same as the first, except with a slightly different ending there. So thus far we have the next phrase. Again. phrase. And again, going back to the phrase before. And then the final phrase. Again. I'll play the second part one more time and then play the tune at a more moderate or at a more up pace tempo. Play the tune at a, a regular tempo and then talk about some more technique ideas or variations that you can throw in there. So in the first part, there's a lot of uh, effects you can do, particularly on the E and on the F sharp, with popping the, uh, the note. And again, on the E note there, as you descend into the bottom D, you can experiment and alternate with playing an E cran on the leg, an E-cran off the leg, or rolls. So you have or or so second part, uh, there's that run up to the back D that I mentioned earlier, and more opportunities for popping on the F sharp. I also like to Im implement that variation there as well, uh, ascending G, F, E. 
or uh. Also end with a ghosty there as well. Uh. So that's basically the tune, uh, the master's return with some ornament and variation ideas um, for a better source. Always listen to uh, the source itself, uh, in this case would be Seamus Ennis, um, but I think a few other pipers have recorded it as well. Uh, hope you enjoy and hope this works.